So back in early March of 2021 on Reddit, on the Sega subreddit, there was a particular post that went up that was quickly deleted maybe an hour later. And that post said, my mom worked for Sega Genesis growing up. I may have discovered the only prototype of Alien Storm currently in existence while spring cleaning. And basically there was a lot of people on that particular thread talking about how this individual needed to get the cartridge dumped immediately for preservation reasons. Now this is kind of a big deal because Alien Storm prototype does not exist. I think there are websites such as the Hidden Palace and the Cutting Room Floor that have kind of placeholders for the prototype, but there is no known prototype in existence. Now the Sega Reddit community had mentioned my name as someone that could handle dumping this ROM for the community. And I've done this before with the ship prototype demo that I released just at the end of 2020. So I was contacted by the owner of the cartridge. His name is Connor and lives in Canada. And we got talking and I learned more about the origins of this cartridge now, after some emailing back and forth with Connor, the individual who owns the cartridge, he was a really nice guy and he was more than happy to send it out to me after he got an idea about who I was and some of the things I've already done for the community. He said, my mom worked at Irwin Toys in Canada, which had the rights to Sega in Canada. She worked from 1989 to 1993 in the marketing department for Sega Genesis Game Gear and had me and a family friend test different games and accessories. I asked my dad and he said we had other prototypes around the house including the one that was in Japanese but the one you have is the only one that remains. So the good news is the cartridge is in the right hands. We're going to open it up, take a look at the PCB and see what's going on and then obviously we're going to get this cartridge dumped. Now I will say guys that there is no guarantees that this does have an Alien Storm prototype on there. If uh, Connor's mum did work at Irwin Toys in Canada as he mentioned then this could just be a, a retail version of the game, quite honestly. So we don't really know what's going on, but let's go ahead now and open this up and take a closer look and see what's going on inside. Now guys, right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you that this is not an Alien Storm prototype. Unfortunately, even though the case indicates that it could well be, we ended up getting a different game on the cartridge. So this is the PCB, the internals of the particular cartridge, and I can automatically tell that this is a prototype board. We did a dump of the ship prototype demo uh, about three months ago now on the channel, and it had a very similar board to this, although that was a four megabit cartridge. It, it had two of the chips that were not uh, installed because it was a four megabit cartridge. I believe this one is an eight megabit cartridge, and you can tell by the official Sega kind of stickers over the EEPROMs that this is legitimate Sega hardware that was, you know, came from the factory. Now, it has the words here, BHB even, BHBE01, BHB01, and BHB odd zero. So I think these are the odd and even chips. Now, BHB tells me that it may not be Alien Storm, it may be a different game, and it's quite possible that it could well be. Now looking at the underside of the board here, just looking at the pins closer, this appears to be all machine soldered. There's no hand soldering here at all, which is interesting. And this particular board looks like it's official Sega. It's There's no kind of aftermarket or no one else has kind of tampered with this or it's not third party. This does look to be an official Sega board. So now the next thing that we want to do is we're going to get our retro, our ROM dumper, and we're going to dump the contents of this ROM. Now, by the time you guys actually watch this video, check the link in the description below because the ROM will be available there for you to download and enjoy. Let's go ahead and take a look and see if this indeed is an Alien Storm prototype, an Alien Storm retail game, or whatever it is, we're going to find out. Let's go ahead and get this ROM dumped. So if you want to dump Sega Genesis cartridges, the best tool for the job is the Retro 2. Now these are sold at places like Stone Age Gamer, but unfortunately are out of stock. Now you can also find them on eBay as well, but of course you may be paying more for the privilege. ROM dumping hardware in recent times has become very popular. And if you're into retro games and you have your own collection, it may be a good idea to invest in one of your own. The Retro 2 is very simple to use. Connect the cartridge and then plug the other end of the Retro 2 into a USB port on your PC. 
And with that, the contents of the cartridge will appear as a folder on your machine, which you can then easily copy and paste. It's recommended that you unplug and reinsert the cartridge a few times and make three or four dumps of the game. Sometimes you'll get a bad connection and may not get a clean dump and you definitely want to make sure that your dump is 100% correct. Now the next thing that I do is open up the ROM in a hex editor and take a look at the header. What's interesting here is that the name of the game is called Shooting and there is more information in the header that it was programmed by Tonbay in 1991. One last thing that I do to confirm that my dump is good is to perform a binary compare with another dump file that I did on the same game. And if no differences were found, we are in good shape to load up the game. So let's get this out of the way. Unfortunately, this is not an Alien Storm prototype. Instead, it's a prototype of a game known as Biohazard Battle, or Crying, Asimi Sensu, as it's known in Japan. The game was both developed and published by Sega and released in 1992 for the Sega Mega Drive and Sega Genesis. It's a horizontal shoot 'em up that's very much an organic shooter, which takes inspiration from games such as R-Type and Darius. As a shooter, it's actually quite fun to play. There are eight levels in the game and you can select from four different ships and each of them have their own loadouts and strengths and weaknesses. Each ship has a sub-weapon that can be powered up and activate different attacks based on the floating orbs that you can pick up. The graphics and audio are quite good with some really neat effects. I'm really into the organic art style that does remind me of games such as Apidia on the Amiga and the second stage of R-Type. The two-player mode can get particularly intense with lots going on screen at once. The audio is quite good, but it's also quite loud with thunderous bass in some parts. Overall, this is a pretty solid shoot 'em up. So what about that prototype then? If we take a look at the ROM header, we can see that it was built in 1991. It's an earlier look at the game that immediately contains noticeable differences. First of all, it contains an option for modem play, but it's greyed out. The level music is the same tune that just loops over and over. The first level of the game in the prototype is equivalent to the third level in the retail game, but there are clear differences in sprites, background tiles, and color palettes. There's also no power-ups that you pick up in the game, but you can simply just cycle through them and select the one that you want in the prototype. Playing through the levels, it's obvious that this is a pretty early look at the game. There are only two levels in the prototype, and as you approach the boss on level one, you can see there are sections of the game with no enemies at all. The boss is the same as the retail version, which is pretty easy to defeat. And if you can get to the boss on the second level, which is very difficult to do without resorting to save states, you are greeted with this message. Big Buyer Monster waits for your coming. Please look forward master version. And then the game resets back to the title screen. It appears as though that this prototype is more of a store demo than anything else, with only two levels in the game and the message at the end. It's not Alien Storm, but this is still a pretty cool find and definitely a unique prototype. Checking sites like the Cutting Room Floor and the Hidden Palace, there is no mention of this prototype anywhere, so this is definitely a new find and one that I'm happy to help preserve and release to the public. So there you have it guys, it wasn't Alien Storm unfortunately, but it's still a pretty good find, Biohazard Battle has been dumped and preserved and will be available for download. Check the archive.org link in the description below and enjoy it. Now, I wanna give a big thanks to Connor for reaching out to me and sending me this cartridge and trusting me with this very, very unique piece of hardware, as well as the Sega Reddit community themselves who mentioned my name as a good candidate for this ROM to get actually dumped. Now, I also want to say that I'm not the only person out there that can dump these ROMs. There are other really, really awesome people out there, such as Hardcore Games, as well as someone like Frank Cefaldi. People like those in the community are really, really awesome when it comes to this stuff. So if you can't get a hold of me, or if you're wanting to get a unique ROM cartridge dumped, then basically just reach out to me or one of those individuals and I'm sure that they can either do it themselves or point you in the right direction. But that will do it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye for now.